Arr, bagels. Pizza. Must have bagels and pizza bagels. Arr. You ever had a craving for pizza and bagels? Pizza bagels. Let's see what we can do about that. Today I am so excited because I think I'm finally gonna find a use for my donut pans. As it turns out, I found a recipe online. It was on buzzfeed.com and it was all about different things you can do with cauliflower and as you know, we're still looking for the holy grail of low carb bread or no carb bread. This recipe was for bagels, close enough, and it calls for cauliflower, which I have, and it calls for cheese, which I have. Now, the only thing was it called for tomatoes, and I thought, you know what, we can get around that. Let's just change that from tomatoes to our uh, tomato bouillon, because this will only have one carb and two teaspoons, and that will lower it. So what these are going to be are not only bagels. Are you ready? Pizza bagels. <gasps> I have yet to find a low carb pizza that truly tastes good. I mean, the cauliflower crusts are good. The cauliflower cheese sticks, good. Just not quite there. I have high hopes for this recipe. I've done a little bit of prep. So I tell you, I have sliced up my pepperonis. I have shredded up my cheese. Uh, it calls for uh, a cup of cheese and I have a cup and a half. More cheese, the better. All right, let's get going. I'm going to put, um, I'm going to have a little bit of cheese in here. I'm going to put in my cauliflower and we're going to run this to death. I'm going to run this machine until this is absolutely a mush. So here we are. Cauliflower mush. Right there. Can you see it? You get the light behind us. I'm going to now put this into a strainer. I have over here. Moving along with the recipe. I uh, was going to push down on it to drain it, but it just mushes and I get stuff off my fingers in it. Cut that out. All right. And so I opted for time and gravity. Time and gravity. So we'll wait. Maybe there's something on TV. Nothing on television. So I opted for a paper towel and a cup of coffee and I pressed down on it and that got a lot more water out of it. Okay, I drained the water out that I had put this in and I'm just gonna dump it in there and use the same bowl. Don't wanna dirty up too many bowls. Three points for hitting the sink. I'm going to put in a cup of cheese and about, oh, a little over a half a cup of chopped up pepperonis. I'm gonna throw those in. And then I'm gonna put in a little salt. Not too much, because the pepperoni are pretty salty, so is the cheese. Now for the creative part. I am going to put in two teaspoons of caldo de tomato, our tomato flavoring. Now, that is just about the only way my recipe varies. Now it comes to the fun part, and this is all your personal taste. And I'm going to start with, since these are pizza bagels, I'm going to start with some garlic powder and pepper. Half a teaspoon of that. Nah, maybe make it a whole teaspoon. Yum, yum, yum. Crushed red pepper. <laughs> and then some fennel. Now, this, a lot of people don't like fennel because uh, whole fennel tastes like licorice. But I like it, and they said that it kind of overcovers that cauliflower taste. It gets rid of it. All right. Italian seasoning. These wouldn't be pizza bagels without Italian seasoning. And I'm going to put in like a whole teaspoon and a half. All righty. Now we're going to stir this up. Don't forget to add two eggs. Since mine seems to be just a little bit wet because I wasn't patient enough to try to get all that water out, I'm going to add, and this is a little different, a tablespoon of protein powder. So far there's only about, at the most, four grams of carbs in this, and that would be considering the cauliflower and a little bit of tomato flavoring. That's the whole batch. So however many bagels we get out of this. And frankly, their recipe didn't call for flaxseed, but I would like to have some flaxseed for health purposes in my bagels. So those are the changes I made to their recipe and we'll see how this flies. Once we get it all stirred together and I get it into my donut, or in this case, 
bagel molds. And I tasted these and I added some more Italian seasoning and some more garlic. That was for my taste. I said that the whole point of this is to get crispy edges, so you really want to kind of make the hole in the middle. Now, it also said on the recipe that if you did not have a donut pan uh, like this or another one, that you can do this in a muffin pan and make them like a biscuit. So do not despair. There's Where there's a will, there's a way. I just happen to have these donut pans and I've been using them and with no success. So <laughs> here's hoping this is a success. It's a little bit tedious to sit here and do this. I got to tell you. I'm going to pop these in the oven at 400 degrees. Now that's what they called for in their recipe. And I'm going to defer to their better judgment since they made these and tested them and everything. And we're going to bake these at 400 degrees for about 20 minutes, it said, and to check them. Alrighty, there we go. Let's see how she flies. Well, I got cleaned up a little bit and our bagels are baking. And while they're baking, I thought maybe I would just sit and have a little talk with you all. A little keto coffee chat. I uh, haven't even had a chance to drink more than one cup of coffee this morning. One cup is not enough. Oh, mm. and I thought maybe I would answer some of the questions. <laughs> I do try to answer everybody <coughs> personally because I, you are all 103 now. Of you, 103 are precious to me, and I love you all. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for watching the insanity and being part of the good old gal club. I really appreciate it. So. Uh, what I wanted to, to talk about was just a few of the overall general things that some of the people are, are saying, and I agree. I mean, everyone writes the most interesting things. Yes, this diet is unusual. Yes, people around us, I think, do not get that we're eating high fat, but low carbohydrates. They think that, well, you're just out there chewing on butter, or, you know, you're just out there eating lard, uh, or they think that we're eating vegetable oils, which we're not. It, you know, it's certain kinds of good fats, and the good fats are now what they used to call the bad fats. It is difficult to wrap your mind around. So I understand people who don't diet a lot or people who do not, um, you know, have never had to really diet. They can eat anything they want and stay an average to size to thin. They don't get this diet, and they don't get how great it makes you feel. You know, I haven't weighed but I don't feel like I'm really losing any more weight. But, you know, some of the swelling and some of the puffiness, definitely gone, definitely gone. Um, I have a friend of mine whose leg swells quite a bit and I wish I could talk her into doing this, but it's just too far beyond her. She can't, she doesn't like to cook and she, she just doesn't want, you know, want to do it. And that's fine, you know, that is absolutely fine. She says she won't give up fruit, she won't give up veggies. For me, that was not a problem. And you don't have to give up all veggies. I mean, veggie carbs, if you're going to eat carbs, they're the good ones, you know. And it's like today in our recipe, we're using cauliflower. And that's vegetable. I'm covering up the taste of it as best I can. <laughs> no, I actually like the taste of cauliflower, but you know. So uh, I think that it's an interesting vegetable. Love all the ways other people come up with. Isn't that interesting? And then you just take that idea and you kind of make it your own, you know. You can always tweak it a little bit just to get those carbs down just a little bit more. Speaking of carbs... Um, we were talking about uh, craving. Uh, one of my subscribers had uh, went back to a little more higher carb and she mentioned that now again she was dealing with cravings and she wasn't feeling satiated and satisfied. And uh, I have to say that the other day I was at Mother's and she ha had pumpkin creamer. It had, it was sugar free, but it had that type of sugar in it like that makes you feel like you just drank sugar. And as I described it to mother, I said, I can tell if I eat something with too much carb in it because I get that huzzah sort of feeling. It's like, it feels good. Not going to lie. It's like a drug. You know, if I take a, take a sip of something with sugar in it, a, a couple of drinks, and I get that zing feeling, that mmm wee, then I know <laughs> there's probably sugar in that. That's how sensitive I am to it personally. I've learned that. It's taken me a whole lifetime to learn that. So I think that we need to pay attention to our bodies and to our the way we react to sugars. If if something makes you feel really, really good, you might and then but then you know, two hours later you're looking in the fridge to see if the fridge fairy dropped off something yummy 
Uh, and that happened to me. Uh, found myself last night looking for something yummy. Couldn't understand why. I was like almost three months and I haven't really been opening the fridge and looking. I've been satisfied. And I was looking. Well, the only thing I can figure I did was I had had that pumpkin creamer at Mother's. You know what? It must have set me off. So I attempted to make a recipe, which was pumpkin uh, brownies, and it failed epically. No, I'm not going to show it to you. As a matter of fact, I erased the whole thing. I will show you the fail, though, if you want to see it. I haven't thrown it out yet. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, this is just, this is so bad. I really thought, and, and it wasted. You're right. I wasted a whole thing. These don't taste good. They look beautiful. I mean, they, they look, the idea, the premise, they're really more of a fat bomb than anything. Now, you know, after sitting overnight in the refrigerator, they're not that bad. <laughs> I might use them like a fat bomb. Maybe I'll freeze some of them if I really need some fat. And I usually only try to, you know, show you guys things that turn out pretty good. I've got 10 minutes left on our, our bagels. I can't wait for this one. Since it's somebody else's recipe mostly, I'm really having high hopes. <laughs> I wanted to share that with you. I know there's some others out there that can relate to the satiated, the good feeling about this diet. It is doable when you're out and around. I find that sometimes when I am cooking and doing things experimentally, I, uh, I make sure to eat a couple of uh, hard boiled eggs or some bacon before I start. And if I do that regularly, then I'm good. I'm, I'm not tasting so much and I'm not, you know, wanting to eat so much afterwards. If, you know, one bite and I'm done. But I really, I think there is something to this high fat low carb i'm starting to really believe it so, okay well i'm going to sit here and sweat it is almost november 1st and i have sweat running down my face can you believe it well the oven's at 400 degrees and sitting right here too so i'll be back with you as soon as these are done and we'll see if they turned out um they got done i let them chill off i cooked them a little extra long because they said, you know, crispy is what you wanted with this recipe. And they definitely are not a bread-like texture. It's almost like, um, I would think like a breakfasty egg soft. Mmm. I mean, they're tasty. No doubt about it. It was better when it was hot. I let them cool off thinking that they would be a little crunchier because I had trouble getting them out. They stuck. Even though I sprayed it and it's silicon, they still stuck. And I, I cooked them plenty long. I mean, they're, they're plenty browned. But it's just that typical, when you use cauliflower, kind of mushy. And I really drained it as best I could. However, these are really tasty. And I think if you were going to have like a Halloween party, and you wanted like a, uh, not like a snack, but more like, like a, a meal type of thing. And there's hardly any carbs in them. And this, to me, would be considered like a, a main course. <laughs> So, if you like, like and subscribe. This was on BuzzFeed.com. So, uh, if you like, give it a try. Maybe I shouldn't have uh, adjusted it any by putting, you know, a little bit of baking soda in it. I don't think that made any difference, though. So. There you go. If you'd like to try this one, I tried it for you. I have pretty tasty. Uh, and hardly any carbs. But it's just not a bagel. It's more like a meal. Like a little hot meal. They'd be good warmed up. I'm afraid I'm going to stick some in the microwave. I love y'all. Be good to one another. I'll talk to you later. Bye. I got to wrap this one up. Oh, that was just terrible.